Oh, hello everybody, welcome to American Horror Story Freak Show, episode 6, episode entitled Bullseye. Um, let's read the description. A dangerous new act is unveiled by Elsa. Meanwhile, Stanley pressures Maggie to murder Jimmy, and Paul indulges in a secret romance. Let's review this. Um... Sorry for the light right there. Sorry that this review, recap, whatever you call it, it's so late. Um, <clears throat> I was out of town and it was taking me a while to catch up. Uh, they've been fixing up the apartment so I couldn't really watch TV, let alone record a video about it after. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. It starts off with the freaks rolling out the uh, spinning wheel, the big bullseye spinning wheel that you throw knives at. Elsa's gonna be the knife thrower. She's talking about <clears throat> faith and destiny and just stay off the wheel and keep your own uh, faith in your own hands. Uh, it's Elsa's birthday week so they make her presents and cake and everything. Turns out her and our we keep going on the same path as the episode. Um, so her and everyone are sitting around in the big long picnic table where in front of the stage where they discuss everything, um, opening presents and everything. Everyone's a little down because if you remember, I didn't at first, but Elsa sold the twins to the rich kid and his mom. Um, her story is she took them out dress shopping because they're all going to be on television together. Remember, uh, named Stanley, the gay con artist with, uh, Maggie, the, the fake, uh, fortune teller who was a con artist. And then they want to get a freak's body to sell to the museum for lots and lots of money. So, they wanted the twins. He tried to poison them in the last episode with pink cupcakes. Um, so everyone's kind of bummed that they're missing. And Elsa's just saying they took off and uh, snuck out the back when she took them dress shopping. Uh, Jimmy asks if they said where they were going or anything or why they left. And Elsa bursts out with no and she's upset. Talking about how she, their family and they took everybody in and they just took off. Like liars do, they're putting more pressure on the truth. Or, or not, on their version of the truth. Um, turns out the rich kid doesn't murder them, which I thought was gonna happen. Um, he's actually in love with them, and Beth, the happier side, um, she's taking a fancy to him a little bit. They're eating popcorn and like in the movie theater in this house, I guess. Yeah, and their hands kind of touch like trying to get popcorn and like that, and then they look and smile and giggle. That's like, fuck this guy. Sorry for my language, but she's like, oh, I'm not having any of this. What, What's he trying to do here? Is he going to kill us? Torture us? What's going to happen? Um, but he's actually being nice and, you know, trying to get some booty. Um, I forget what his mom gave him, but talking about money in the waters because they're incest. So you can't have an affair, because then that money's the water of their money. It's playing in older episodes, um, and he kind of gets mad about it, and he says, no, why, because they're a freak? Well, I feel normal when I'm with them, so he's actually kind of happy and feels accepted, like, oh, I get it now, with the freaks, and, uh, not the freaks, the two other ladies, and, uh, he tells his mom he's going to marry him. And there comes a time when a mother has to give up her son to another woman. Um, then it cuts back to the group of freaks. And uh, Seal, Boy, Seal Boy, the dude with all the tattoos except for on his face. He's got the short arms like a seal. Um, he's romancing, having relations with uh, Elsa Mars. And... Uh, She's talking about how she's going to go to Hollywood since Stanley told her and they're going to put her on television and everything. That maybe uh, Seal Boy should go with her 
because she knows how to please him and he could be her chauffeur when she has a real driver and uh, she had asked him if he's if he's catching feelings but uh, they don't do that you know she tells him like no he, like, we don't do that this is just a pure pleasure type of thing and um, turns out he's having an affair with another not an affair but uh, falling in love with a regular woman who used to be in the freak show and uh, they would have relations in front of an audience and uh, um, she asked him like what's, what's wrong like we you didn't have any trouble when it was in front of an audience and he says oh that was different now now I'm in love with you um, and they're having like a sweet little moment and then her dad shows up and like pounds on the door and <coughs> Excuse me. Um, screaming like, who are you talking to? Why is this door locked? And she comes in and uh, apparently she's the runaway before to the freak show. Um, and her mother almost went into the loony bin about it. So she has a terrible home life. That's an asshole yelling. And uh, she's like, can I go to sleep? No, I was just listening to the radio. Like teenagers do. Um, so Seal Boy thinks... Elsa did something to the twins, which she did, um, and he bumps into the uh, the rich kid at the I guess like a writing type of deal, the the market I guess, but like not supermarket, but like a like a variety. Like he's buying perfume for the chick that he he's in love with, and. Uh, Cashier guy doesn't want to sell it to him because he's a freak. Um, him and the rich kid are like getting a little altercation. And then when the cashier comes back, he says, Is this freak giving you trouble? And he says, Yes, he is actually. He tried to rob me. And uh, basically, he's just questioning him about the, uh, the twins. And because he has two of everything for girls, and he's. He, he just a dude, and uh, nothing comes from that. Uh, he tells Jimmy about it, and now he thinks Elsa um, did something to them, murdered them, or, or something like that. Um, nobody believes him because, hey, this this is we're family and everything. She would never do that. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and then it turns out he tells Elsa the same thing. Uh, she puts him up on the, the wheel, and because uh, she like, tell me who, who's been talking behind my back, who? And she puts him on the wheel, spins, and throws knives and catches him like in the belly, but uh, yeah, pretty much in the belly, but not dead center. On side of the belly, uh. She's going to call the Amberants, but doesn't, um, Maggie doesn't want to cut off Jimmy's hands, which is Stanley's plan, to really get the lobster hands, and sell them to the museum. Uh, she says we'll steal the little Indian girl and put her in a bar, and, uh, no blood or nothing, because she's small. Um, and they showed it, and that was kind of hard to watch. She put... She puts her in a jar and like they fill it up with I guess formaldehyde preservative type of deal. Um and then she almost does it. Uh but she couldn't because you know the little Indian girl is so sweet and she takes her in the middle of the night to this barn and she says, Oh the moon is the moon is beautiful. You're beautiful and they like, hug her a little bit and Jenna wants a pony, and uh, Jenna put her in the jar like a butterfly, and she keeps like pretending and does the little thing with your hands like a butterfly. And she Maggie grabs the bottle and like almost does it, and then like you think she's gonna do it, and it comes back to uh, the girl that had a relations with uh, Seal Boy, also known as Paul. Um, 
and her dad, she's like sneaking out in the middle of the night to go see Paul. And uh, her dad pulls out the shotgun on her. She says, go back to bed. And she's like, what are you going to do? Shoot me? Shoot me then. I'd rather die in the stairwell than stay here with you for much longer. And uh, she's in love. She says she's going to go see him right now. And that's it. And she goes down the stairs. Dad doesn't shoot her. Um, before she gets there, they show uh, Maggie carrying back the little Indian girl. I forget her name. And uh, they got up at dawn to catch fireflies, apparently. And then she caught feelings for Jimmy and says, let's run away and we could get there in no by tonight. If we leave now, they do some smoochy smoochy. Um, she says, I just got to do one more thing, pack your bags and we'll leave. Um. So Paul's dying, Elsa didn't call an ambulance, and uh, the episode ends with Jimmy, well, Maggie got caught by uh, Stanley, and uh, basically just says bring Jimmy to the shed, because they have a little barn where they, she put the Indian girl in the thing, and uh, Jimmy ends up at the rich kid's house, and that's where it ends. So, thanks for watching. Sorry it took me so long. Sorry I had a cough. Sorry my nose is a little stuffy. Um, stick around, subscribe. I'll be doing the rest of the season for sure. I'm going to get this up tonight. I'll get another one out tomorrow in the afternoon. And then I'll do the next one. <coughs> on. Um, I may have to do two on Wednesday. Or Tuesday. Yeah, I'll probably do, yeah, I'll figure it out, don't worry, I'll get all cut up, I'll get them all on here, and I'll get the live one and put it on here as well, so, um, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, thanks for listening, uh, peace.